What's going on out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video and we have a money glitch for you guys to do. It is the infamous drive-in facility glitch that just will not die. This is about the third workaround thanks to King Alex and Evil Branch for finding this. Uh, now what you're going to need, and it's pretty freaking easy, alright? It's probably easier now than it was before. Some people were having trouble with the pause uh, X timing. So now, and this works on Xbox and PlayStation guys. I'm actually doing the tutorial on Xbox, okay? So what you're going to need is, I recommend going into a friends only session. You need a friend for this. You and your friend both need to have the same facility. Uh, you also need an Avenger, just you. You're the main one. If you're the duper, you need the Avenger. Apart from that, you also need a Benny's car in your in your uh, facility to actually dupe. I recommend the LG Retro Custom. It sells for the most. You do not need custom plates for this. No custom plates glitch. You get a fresh plate every single time and I'll prove it at the end of the video I'll actually sell one of those cars okay now also you need a garage full of Fagios or RH8s uh, probably Fagios would be better or Sanchez's as I do in the video much easier if you you know sign in as an MC president you can just call them up nice and quick no cooldowns and the MOC with the personal vehicle storage to actually save the vehicle alright so right now what we're doing is I've invited my friend into my facility and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the glitch so I'm gonna hop into my Avenger now you're not you can't press pause anymore basically after you exit the facility so this is what we're gonna do so once you enter the cockpit go ahead and press right d-pad to mod the Avenger then press B or circle and then now you're on this screen go ahead and let your friend know he can hop in and what you're gonna be doing is actually hovering over exit the facility okay so hover over exit the facility now you're gonna tap on A or X to exit the facility and then immediately you're gonna go over to the game you know the app and actually quit out of the app okay now on Xbox you have to quit out of the app PlayStation you can just suspend app but we're gonna be doing it the Xbox version so exit the facility and then quickly you know open up the dashboard and quit the game just like that so what just happened is your friend just ended up on an infinite black loading screen when you did that okay timing is not hard just do it a little bit quicker than normal maybe practice this, you know so that you can get the uh, you know the movement down but it's really not that difficult whatsoever so now your friend is in that close friend session on an infinite black loading screen once you load back into story mode what you want to go ahead and do is either just join them back through the gamer card which is what I'm gonna do right now or you can just have them send you an invite and then you'll eventually get you know the alert to join so I got the orange save icon session details there we go I am loading now into the session all right so we're just going to be waiting here up in the clouds. Now, like I said, PlayStation, you do not need to actually close app. You can if you want to, but you don't need to. If you exit the facility, you can quickly double tap or just tap the PS button, open up Spotify or trim a clip, and you can suspend app and go into a new session and then just go right back into that session where, you, where your friend's at. No need to close app on PlayStation, but we're doing it on Xbox, and this is the method on Xbox. So... Now what you want to go ahead and do is, you know, have your spawn location set to the facility. If you go to the Avenger, you should, you should see your friend still stuck in the cockpit. He's still on a black screen. Go ahead and start up a Titan of a job. Just sit down in the lobby, and uh, what you're going to do is go ahead and send your friend an invite. Now on Xbox, my friend got the automatic alert, but I'm just going to show you basically what you would do. Just send him an invite through the dashboard. On PlayStation, do the same thing. There's no automatic alerts. Once your friend is on that first alert, you can back out of the job. Tell your friend to go ahead and accept the first alert. He's going to get an unable to connect because you left the job. Accept that alert as well. He's going to go up in the clouds and get shot back down. Now he's able to actually get out of the Avenger and walk around. Now your facility is successfully glitched. So that's all the preparation basically. Well, not totally, but that's probably the hardest part with your friend. The facility's fully glitched now. We just need to prepare the outside for actually duping and saving the cars. Okay, so just go ahead and exit the facility. And we have a few retros out here. One of those is my friend's, one of those is mine. I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in as Motorcycle Club President at this point. A lot easier just to be an MC President, let me tell you, all right? So I have a bunch of Sanchez's in a garage. Those are the cars, that, or those are the vehicles I'm gonna be duping over. But right now, what you want to go ahead and do, I'm just going to take my friend's car because it's right here. Go ahead and pick up your MOC. Remember, you need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage to save the vehicle. So I forgot to kind of call it earlier, but here we go. I'm going to request the MOC. If you can't request it, if it's grayed out, remember, it's going to give you a message that says like your MOC isn't empty. All you have to do is hop out of the car that you're driving and then you should be able to request it. I don't know why it does that. It's been like that since ever since the beginning, but just like a little glitch that happens. So park the MOC close to your facility. Make sure you have the blue circle. Uh, you can't park it too close because that blue circle will disappear, but I know the exact spot where to park this with my facility to still have that blue circle. 
So make your way back to the facility, but before you go in, make sure you order up a vehicle to dupe over. Now, remember I said Fagios or Sanchez's or something? You can order them through your MC President. Nice and easy. I just ordered a Sanchez, left the Sanchez out there. That's going to be the vehicle we're duping over. It just needs to be out on the map. And if you notice, when I come back in the facility, it's actually showing my friend in the elevator animation with me. All that says is that the facility is glitched out. So my friend is over here waiting over by the car that I'm going to be duping. I can dupe any one of these. Doesn't really matter. And like I said, you don't need custom plates. Okay, so go ahead as the duper, hop into the vehicle, start up the car, tell your friend to tap Y once, then hold Y. Right when the door opens, you pop out of the vehicle. Right when the door is fully open, just pop out of the vehicle and he should slide right over. If you fail, just get out and keep retrying. But if you did it right, your friend should have access to your vehicle or to this vehicle now and should be able to drive inside of the facility, all right? The facilities are merged, they're glitched, that's why this is able to actually work. So tell your friend to go ahead and park in this spot right here and go ahead and just teleport out by pressing wire triangle. You teleport out and back in, okay? So now I can see I can teleport. Remember that plate, RLW? I can teleport in and out with Y. Now we do the infamous little trick here at the yellow circle. Press A and Y on Xbox at the same time. That would be X and triangle on PlayStation at the same time. And if done correctly, you'll see yourself go into the car for a split second, and then you'll start the animation of actually exiting on foot. But you don't end up out on foot. You end up in your car if you've done it successfully and check out the plate. The plate is indeed different. This is a fresh, clean plate. We actually just got this from the Sanchez that we left outside. And because we put our MOC out there and the, gl and the facility is glitched out, we can simply just store it right in there. And the MOC will not despawn as long as your friend stays glitched out in the facility. So just like that, we've actually saved a car, okay? So that's one dupe done. Now I'm gonna show you how to rinse and repeat super fast, super easy. So you see, it's just like the preparation that might take you a little bit of time, maybe 10 minutes, it's not even that bad. But once you've got the preparation down, you're fine, you're good to go. Okay, so now I'm just, I would just took the retro out just simply to get there quicker so I didn't have to run. But yeah, I'm just gonna return it to storage. So that one went back to the MOC where I just saved it. I'm gonna call up another Sanchez from another garage. You see it right there. And now that's gonna be the next vehicle we're duping over. The Sanchez might not have plates visible on it, but trust me, there's a plate on it. There's a plate on every vehicle, even aircrafts in the game. Just because you don't see a plate doesn't mean there's not one there. There's always a license plate. Okay, so we're going back in the glitch facility, as you can see by the elevator animation. And guess what? You only need that one Benny's car because if you see that Benny's car that we just used, it was in that middle slot. See, it's still there. Okay, so that's why you only need one in the facility. LG Retro Custom sell for the most almost a million dollars. So hop in the vehicle, get it started, tell your friend to tap Y once and then hold it. Right when the door is fully open, you pop out of the vehicle. So you see that? I just did that back to back nice and easy. That timing is really, really slick. As long as you do exactly what I said, right when the door is fully open, you can go ahead and pop out and make sure your friend is holding triangle or Y when he's getting in, okay? So have your friend just go ahead and park it in the same place over the, over by these railings so that they're, uh, you know, the, both doors are wedged so that you can both teleport out. He teleports out, you teleport out, and then back into the driver's seat. There we go. So remember the plate, RLW, that plate will be changing. Now I'm gonna show you also how to get your friend unglitched because at this point he actually can't exit the facility by himself so have your friend by the passenger side door okay if he wants to get unglitched you know like say you're done duping cars with each other and he just doesn't want to close app or anything like that so you're going to do the trick right here press a and y at the same time or x and triangle on playstation once you do that now on his screen the car is invisible tell him to just pop right in there okay tell him to just teleport just press wire triangle right into the vehicle while it's kind of you know invisible and then you're good to go. It's not really invisible, but transparent. And you see he ends up outside with you. And look at that, he's outside and he's actually super glitched out. If you look at the radar at the bottom left, you can't even see him on the mini map. All right, but that was the brand new plate. So this is a brand new duplicate. And you see that right there? See, he's like, he's transparent. It looks like he's in passive mode, but he's he's OTR. It's just, it's weird. He'll fix, it fixes itself, you know, by itself and everything. So don't worry about that. So just go ahead and press right D-pad because you, you want to make sure to save this vehicle. The game still thinks it's a Sanchez until you save it in the MOC. And there we go. The car is saved. So you would just keep doing that. Obviously not having your friend leave, but you leave your friend in there ready to get into the cars to, you know, give him access to drive around in the facility. And you, you can just keep doing that over and over again. It's super easy, super fast. This is one of the best money glitches we have, okay? 
um, and it works perfectly on Xbox as you can see right here the whole video is done on Xbox and I'm just gonna actually sell a car at the end of the video because I never really do that but I'm gonna show you actually that I have all the plate options you see if you have plate options on the car that means it's not dirty it's a clean car this one sells for 975 grand so basically a million dollars I'm gonna go ahead and sell it and make myself a mill all right nice and easy all right so make sure you follow the daily sell limit rules I always have that video linked in the description, so make sure you check that out if you don't know how to sell cars properly without getting caught. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out, everybody.